My name is Arun Dayanandan. I'm a graduate student at Concordia University right here with, uh, with Grant Brown. You saw him speak yesterday a little bit about scaring fish. And uh, so I'm actually going to be telling you about... Oh, what is it? It's okay. I'll be telling you about uh, predation risk and, uh, and elevated predation risk effects on mate selection, female mate selection in Trinidadian guppies, or as I like to call it, Tinder for fish with post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> so generally, chemical, the chemical environment is very, is very rich in public information. It's very important for, um, for fish to be able to recognize some of these chemicals in the water to identify uh, the presence of predators. Now, there's two major types of chemical information that these fish can get. There's disturbance cues, which is released by fish when they're very scared. It's kind of like they just pee their pants, um, if fish have pants. And there's alarm cue, which is actually released when uh, an, an individual is damaged, such as through an attack by a predator. And this actually is a much more, um, it, it signals to other fish that there is something in the environment. So this is the highest risk environment you can have. Disturbance cues are a bit of a, a middle ground. And so generally they tend to, to pay attention, they, they take off when they smell these alarm cues. Now what isn't as well known, however, is how these chemical alarm cues and these chemical cues actually affect uh, mating and, and mate behavior, uh, such as mate choice making, uh, in, in fish. And so there's two ways this can go. So generally guppies, male guppies are very pretty, if anyone's seen them, and uh, females will choose the, the prettiest male because they tend to be the fittest. However, one of the issues with choosing the prettiest male is that predators then know that that's where you are. And we've seen that females that mate with the pretty male tend to get eaten faster, and their young, or because they're also quite pretty, tend to get eaten as well. So the fitness actually goes down if uh, there's a predator present. So it might actually be advantageous to mate with a duller looking male, because that way you, you're more likely to have your, your offspring succeed to the next generation. And eventually you have these population processes where you have many, many dull fish that are, that are mating with each other. So what I want to see is if I scare one of these female guppies and raise her in an environment where the predation risk is higher, will we actually see um, a, ch a change in the, the decision-making behavior of these fish in, when choosing a male? And so my prediction was that um, these scared fish will actually choose the duller male um, as opposed to the unscared fish, which will choose the traditionally prettier male. And this is actually part of a much larger project. There's many different components to it, and I'll be happy to talk about that later. Um, come approach me. And uh, yeah, so the first part of this, uh, this experiment was looking at the disturbance cue, so kind of that fish that pee their pants. Um, I used a model predator, a little fish in a lure, and, a, uh, and the disturbance cue that I collected, and gave this to the female, and then had her choose between a pretty male and a dull male. <laughs> And currently I'm in the process of doing the same experiment but with the alarm cue, so that much higher risk environment. And one of the findings that we have so far is that they will actually choose, um, we, we've seen that the first choice that's made, so when they, these females are swimming in the tank choosing between a male, the, the females that are scared will actually choose about two times faster than the unscared female. And this is interesting because their activity level is the same, and we've also seen that their sampling is about the same, so the, how much of a decision they make between the, the two, which is telling us there is somewhat of a speed accuracy trade-off in this first choice. Eventually, they kind of make the same decision as the, the non-scared. And this has a lot of implications when it comes to conservation because as chemical pollutants enter the water, invasive species like invasive predators are entering into the waterways. This changes the dynamics that we see and these predator-prey dynamics change. So the, uh, the future world of fish tinder is very different than the world we have today. And so with that, I'd like to say thank you very much for your attention.